It is the end of an era in Chicago. The CME Group announcing that it will close most of its trading floors permanently. Let's bring in Jared Blickery for that story. Uh, Jared, we should point out um, officially they're called trading pits. They've been closed since March of last year. So things have been a little quiet there. But this is certainly a, a big decision, um, especially given uh, this is one of the last ones that had sort of the live trading floor, this atmosphere that, that you have alluded to, you remember for a very long time. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I visited the Seabot pit when I was a kid and uh, you couldn't walk around in it, but they had this elevated walkway where you could just kind of watch the people. They would use the hand signals and there were guys who would walk around and just uh, tell people exactly what was going on. It was fascinating, got me interested in trading and now they're closing all but one of the pits and that would be Euro dollar futures pits. I'm not gonna go into the details there, but basically interest rates are used by a lot of institutions, most liquid futures contract in the world. They reopened that in August. That's gonna stay open, but the others are gonna stay closed permanently. And you were talking about pits versus the floor. Well, they have actual pits there where you walk up and uh, it's just a, a bowl of humans. And if you saw the uh, bond trading pit back in the day with Tom Baldwin, he was Mr. Top Step back in the day. It was incredible. Those guys had to be big. You had to be big to exist in there because they would break out in fistfights sometimes, no joke. So uh, I'll tell you another funny story because uh, there's something in trading called the O'Hare trade. And this is kind of a binary bet on the rest of your life. So if you see futures are volatile one day, you're in a pit, you make a huge outsized bet in one direction or the other, maybe flip a coin, and then you drive to O'Hare, which is the airport. And uh, then you call in around the close, you say, where did, where did things settle? If it's in your favor, well, you go back to the office. If you don't, you fly to a country with a non-extradition agreement with the US. Anyway, end of an era, sorry to say, guys. Yeah, bowl of humans. I like how you describe that, Jared. I'm looking at these photos, certainly accurate. And you pointed out you actually visited the floor when you were younger. So at one point, we're going to have to have you bring in that photo. Uh, we're talking about the CME group. We have to talk about commodities. And we've seen uh, lumber futures passing $1,500 for the first time. What's behind that move? Well, I'll tell you what, there's limited supply because of a variety of reasons, and there's also incredible demand from the housing industry. I mean, home builders are at record highs right now. And let's just pull up a lumber chart here. I mean, everybody seems to know what lumber futures are doing nowadays. I don't see if I can find LBS ticker. Here we go. It's up 1% today, year to date up 70%, and then over the trailing year up 345%. Now, part of this is because we import a lot of softwood lumber from Canada and it's still taxed at 9%. And we had a, a guest on uh, last week who was explaining this. I have an article up on Yahoo Finance uh, writing about this, and this is really adding a lot of cost to homes. So basically $36,000 to any new home on average because of these soaring lumber prices. And they're probably about, I would say to top out, maybe at 1,500, 16, 17. We've seen these blow off tops before and they could easily decline into the, uh, as we pass expiration of the current contract, that's gonna happen in a week or two. But nevertheless, this is not good news for new home buyers because people are getting priced out. And I know this is kind of a personal story for you too, Akiko. Yeah, it's, it's, it it's a good time here. Uh, I, I don't know the details behind that one, Akiko. We're gonna have to talk, we're gonna have to chat <laughs> offline, but a uh, good day for people who are in, uh, in the lumber market. Jared Blickery, appreciate you bringing us that one there.